check out this elk sitting down here. Where it was laying down, it stood up as soon as I pulled my phone out. Think I can take it with my slingshot? Yeah. Might be an unethical shot. I might hold off on that one. Really cool though. And it's off. All right, I'll catch you when we get to our spot. Hey, well, happily I'm back out here with you and hopefully we could have another great overnighter. Um, I'm just parked up at this little spot right here where this is actually, I think this was the spot where I tried to camp and all the little daddy long legs and all that were crawling all over me, driving me crazy. So um, I left some poles over here about a year ago and uh, I used those poles to make a little bushcraft chair, you know, out of some uh, nylon fabric that I had and paracord. And I'm just kind of going to check over here and see if they're still there. Because if I don't have to cut anything, you know, anything more out here, I won't. If I can reuse these, that would be great. So let me turn you around and let's see what we've got. Okay, so here are the poles. And... Oh yeah, that's still strong another one that one's still strong oh yeah all right thankfully all these poles actually still look good which is kind of surprising i sort of expected them to be rotten by now but uh i'm gonna go ahead and get my pack on haul my crap over the hill to the uh, campsite and then i'm gonna come back over here i'm gonna grab these poles and we'll put together that bushcraft chair set up camp and then we're gonna Go ahead and start cooking dinner because, you know, once in a while, it's really nice to have everything cooked and done by the time, you know, I really want to just relax and, and work on a project or do nothing at all. It just depends. Uh, but most of the time, <laughs> I start cooking when it's, you know, bedtime, basically, and I ended up, you know, eating at around midnight. And, you know, so today I want to try and get ahead of that. I've already, I've already failed because... I got a really late start, but, you know, that happens sometimes, and for me, that's pretty much all the time. I'm on time for everything else except for when I want to go camping, so it'll be okay. So let's get all that done, and I'll catch you back at camp. All right, so got the pack on, still using that Coyote 105, and not because I'm hauling all that much gear, but I have a lot of bedding. And, or I can't say bedding, but uh, extra shirt and uh, some thermal pants. Because last time I was up here, my legs mostly did get a little bit cold. But the rest of me was fine. So I brought some extra stuff of that nature. Think about trying something a little bit different with that uh, River Country 2.2 tent. Although I did bring the hiking poles, I think I might go ahead and try just running a ridge line and hanging it off of that. That might be the way to go, just so I don't have to try and maneuver my fat ass around those poles. And we're still under a burn ban, so I have to use a little propane stove, but that's okay. Guess that explains why there's not very many people out here camping this weekend. Nobody wants to go camping without a campfire. Can't say I necessarily blame them, but... If I have the chance to get out, I'll take the chance to get out. So 
heck of a climb today. It's all right. We'll make do. So I will meet you at the top. Here we are. This is where we're going to do this. So what I've got in mind is, I don't know if you can see, yeah, where my trekking pole is lined up. I'm going to run a ridge line from that tree over to that little tree back there. And there's a nice soft spot with no stakes or anything. There's lots of live trees right around here to help catch any kind of widow makers or anything. Trees all look pretty healthy around here. So I think that's the best possible place. And this is an area that I've frequented often. As you can see, the animals have dug in the, the fire pit. I normally bury that and clean it all up and make it look like it never happened, but they still dig it up. I guess they smell the juices from the steaks and all that stuff that I've cooked last season. Uh, but right now I'm going to run down and get those other poles and bring those up here so I can build my bushcraft chair again and have that sitting off to the side. Um, not really enough light up here anymore. I guess I could set it probably right over here, you know, in this little sunny spot down beside me. I brought a Lucy light, which uh, also acts as a uh, power bank for a, for a cell phone or whatnot. So we'll see how that works. Uh, and yeah, let's, let's get started here. And we'll also get some food cooking. So I'm going to experiment with that a little bit more with the uh, the veggie steamer bags. So let me run down there, get that stuff, and I'll get right back to you. All right, here's my sticks. And all I did is tie a slip knot on this side. And then on this side, I had a bowline already. So I just kind of looped it through and then put that stick in there as a toggle. Now... I can just adjust it for center of gravity so it sits level on my hand and it's easy to carry. And we're gonna drag these back up to camp. I will catch you in a second. All right, so now we're trucking it back to the camp, poles and tow. So these guys that we harvested, you know, that were already dead a year ago, we're gonna haul back to our camp, make a bushcraft chair out of it. And uh, we set ourselves uh, set ourselves up for success, I think is what I'm trying to say. Sorry about that. So I'll meet you back at camp. All right, everyone, the tent's up, so that means dinner time. Now, the bushcraft chair is just gonna have to wait because I'm losing light super fast. You know, being up here in the mountains, it is what it is. So here's what we got going on. Let me turn this thing around real quick. All right, so here's what I prepared earlier. Okay, so I have some meat seasoned and put into one of these steamer bags. I have water coming up to a boil in this pot. Once again, I have to use a little propane stove right now just because, let me move that lighter, not good. Um, just because um, of the burn ban. And you know, I would like to think that I'm more responsible with my fires than your average person, but we all think that and that's how the fires happen, so. You know, let's, uh, I don't want to be the guy responsible for that. So if you're in one of those areas, let's, let's be careful. Now, <laughs> I do have my own opinions about uh, 
fires, you know, and all that kind of stuff and, and wildfires. But uh, I'm going to save that maybe over dinner. We'll talk about that because I don't think I don't think just because you move your your 30 million dollar mansion into an area that uh, all of a sudden nature just stops. But, you know, we'll get to that later. Let's make some food. I'll get back to you. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is just while you're gone is I'm gonna put this steamer bag inside this boiling water and I'm gonna let this meat cook that way. And then I have another little treat that I'm gonna add to it. Alright, the meat's in here boiling. Um I'm gonna give it just a few minutes. Uh so the treat is this. These things are probably one of the best camping foods, in my opinion, um, that you just add water to and, you know, you really don't even have to wait for it to cook. It's it's pretty much done as soon as you add hot water to it. So you can uh, make it or as thin like a soup or a stew or something if you want, or you can make it thick like uh, the mashed potatoes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these uh, mashed potatoes straight to that bag of meat. And then I'm going to add some of that boiling water to the mashed potatoes and meat mixture to get it to the consistency that I want. And then just like an MRE, I'm going to eat it straight out of the bag. And the best part of that is it won't dirty my dishes. So I have no dirty dishes laying around the campsite. Yes, I'll have the bags and I can take those bags and put them in a trash bag and put that in a tree or, you know, whatever I'm going to do with it. And uh, so I won't have all this stuff that's valuable to me that I want to keep in my tent. That stuff won't be dirty. So that might be uh, an option for you if you don't like dirty dishes. So I'll get back to you on that. We'll see how this turns out.